I'm here with Professor Eden Segev, Director of the Department of Neurobiology at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Professor Segev, can you tell me what you're going to be speaking about in the panel today? Okay, this is a unique panel because we just got about three months ago the biggest ever grant for brain research, or for any brain, any research, a, a billion euro. So we are going to talk in this panel about why did we get this and what is the vision for the next 10 years that we have about the brain. We are going to propose a new platform for brain research. It's essential, we need to understand the brain, and the whole panel is about that. Now, how much of our brain is still hidden to us? <laughs> That's a difficult question. You know, my teacher used to tell me that yeah, I'm using only 10%. This is, of course, nonsense. We are, so to speak, using everything, but we can use much more because the brain is plastic. It changes. So I cannot really speak about hidden. But if you ask how much we do not understand, there is a lot of principles that we don't understand on one hand side. So I don't understand how the physics of the brain generates emotions or feelings like love or suffering or memory, this we don't completely understand, but we do understand a lot about the structure of the elements in the brain. And so one of the aspects of this project is to connect the structure that we do understand to the function that we can see, but we don't understand the connection. So that's the basically the enigma. The enigma is from structure to function. When I say function is vision, emotion, memory, this is the function. Can you tell me one fa fun fact about the brain that most people don't know? <laughs> one fact, I, I, I will tell you one fact that maybe most people know, but I can tell them as a, as a scientist, that in terms of what we are conscious of, about, the consciousness is hidden. So some aspect, like I talk to you, I'm, I, I'm conscious of it. Most of what happens there underneath it, my emotions, my feelings, my memory that drives what I'm saying now is not known to me and not really understood by the scientists. So there is a, a like, it's like a, a, a very small part that is being revealed now, now revealed to you when I speak, but a lot of it is underlying below the water. And this is exactly why brain research is so difficult for us to understand. Because what is revealed on the outside when I talk and behave is a minute part of what drives me from underneath, the unconscious part. This we don't understand, but we will. Eventually we will understand everything. That's the claim. We are megalomaniac, you know. Hopefully so. Hopefully we will understand. Professor Segev, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you.